Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel, man. And in this video, we are going to be testing and checking out one of the members of Warriors of the Sky. And uh, the one we are going to be reviewing today is going to be Blue Dragon. As far as I have seen, she is probably the leader of Warriors of the Sky simply because her leadership is what is the best out of the Warriors of the Sky. Like, she applies to the Warriors of the Sky allies 65% decrease of all attack and when debuffed, applies to Warriors of the Sky allies, removes all debuffs for 5 seconds and cooldown with 23 seconds. So that is reduced to like 11.5 seconds with 5 seconds of debuff removal. So that is really very nice. Her tier 2 passive applies to self-increase guaranteed dodge rate by 30%, super armor, all defense plus 10%. So a really very strong kit in the beginning itself and for her skills she has lightning damage in form of energy attack, lightning resistance down, ignores immunity which means it applies to world boss ultimate, freeze, lightning damage, then uh, again bleed damage, increase damage, increase all speed, crit rate, in removes incapacitation, 100% chance to immunity, to all damage and again lightning damage, her passive applies to self increase all attack by 20%, all defense by 20% and all speed by 5%. Her fifth skill deals bleed, deals shock, stun, minus 4% decrease of lightning resistance which stacks up to 40% ignore immunity. So her second skill, yeah, her second skill 30% ignores immunity, lightning resistance down. And then the fifth skill 40% ignores immunity, lightning resistance down. So, so that is almost 70% lightning resistance down. So yeah, she has a really very strong kit uh, in by, by far. So. What we are going to be doing is she is at level 70 in my build so I'm gonna be equipping her uh, custom gear let's see what I want to equip her let's equip her uh, CTP of destruction or rage um, let's keep it uh, free to play friendly let's equip a CTP of destruction on her just for the testing guys I'm equipping it not just that it's not my CTP so I can do this see the what is the status of uh, pre update build they don't even give us an ISO 8 equipped so that is really very bad and uh, as far as her TRT kind of kind of skill is concerned celestial judgment that is the awakened skill it decreases lightning resistance by 5% which is only applicable when uh, sky Kirin shows up and lightning damage for 130% now if i awaken this skill to level 2 it will require me awakening crystals which is farmable by world boss ultimate and it is just like CCF and is based on RNG drop. So it's not guaranteed that we will get it by any means. So that sucks. Apart from that, let's uh, yeah, let's dive into some World Boss Ultimate action and we are going to take her into Ebony Maw action. And as far as I have seen other characters and their skills are concerned, which I have spoken in my first video for the pre-update build, that having Shadow Shell and Sunbird, Sunbird in the team provides a massive buff like uh, what sun shell provides a shadow shell sorry shadow shell provides a 50% all defense buff to character with her passive and sunbird provides provides the revive to warriors of the sky characters while being in the team so that is really very very good for these characters so yeah i'm going to be using this team up right here and uh, i'm going to be using attack by what do may what you may call blue dragon we are not going to be using any strikers just to test her own damage raw damage that she puts into the game with the lightning resistance down i think she should be good with ebony maw but let's just find out how that goes because i don't think she is strong enough to be honest though she's level 70 gears 20 no iso 8 set that's uh, not my fault netmarble didn't send me any powerful iso 8 and didn't even bothered to give her an ISO set so that's not my mistake I'll correct that if she does not do that well no Urus CTP of destruction and awakened potential so let's see how that goes let's get Ebony Maw and kick his ass yeah I got a little excited there but yes let's kick his ass okay so if this thing could load my servers are quite down so sorry about that so yeah let's go into the battle we are into the match let's see how blue dragon does let's use that four for the all attack buff and attack speed and all speed buff that she gives herself 
she should be fine so yeah let's uh, drop that all resistance down from her two and fifth skill along with that let's use kai kairin for the all lightning resistance down as well upon that so that should be a lot of lightning resistance with no all defense down at all the damage is mediocre but could be better right she is level 70 a newly minted character with 65 percent all attack bonus on top which she gives herself by her leadership and all debuff duration down as well so that shouldn't be a problem but uh, she is not putting out that damage as i expected her to put uh yeah underwhelming damage and underwhelming health her survivability is really very trash it is sucking right now let's use kai karin for that immunity to all damage to save her a little but uh, mm, yes you can guess she is weak in terms of her damage right yeah so sunbud from her passive should provide the revive which she can revive if she dies with 50 percent of hp and shadow shell is also providing her 50 percent all defense up so she should be tanky so but that doesn't seem so so she is just good for her leadership as it seems the damage is really very bad let's see what we can do here four now let's do five after the sky carrion drops is fire yeah let's go five okay first four let's go four then let's go two and five okay now i have to kite a little ah uh, the performance is so terrible really bad not happy with her but maybe that's the problem because she doesn't have an iso 8 set and uh, urus or anything like that so i have to take care of that let's see but her damage is really very very underwhelming not at all good very bad terrible not happy with the results guys not at all happy so i guess i have to pass on her but uh, uh, let's see when the time comes i have to get her you know why because she is the leader of the warriors of the sky her leadership is dope so yeah let's see how that goes but for now let's give her some urus and love and i'll be back in an instant with yeah better build okay so after investing quite a lot in her i got her an iso 8 set though the devs again forgot to give me powerful iso 8 at all so i had to grind for it and uh, then i went ahead and geared up her, her gears all to 25 and provided her all five stars or six star urus now the baby is rank one guys i have the rank blue dragon in the test server so yeah let's go again into ebony and let's kick his ass right <laughs> yeah i got a little excited up there but let's do it so again we're gonna go into stage 37 which is the highest i am now allowed to go we are going to go against with the same team no strikers at all and let's see how her damage looks like now i think there should be much of an improvement as i'm totally capped on ignore defense skill cooldown and attack speed a uh, very close to cap on crit damage a little low on crit rate but that is just fine because she gives herself a crit rate buff so yeah let's go and do some work ebony here i come oof that was something so let's go let's go uh if this thing stops loading then yeah here we go here we go so blue dragon now she should do some work if not then i can literally do nothing that's rank one blue dragon so yeah this is the best she can go and if still she's unable to clear this so uh miserable damage then but yeah she is putting in a little work uh by mistake i missed the sky kirin skill so that was bad on my part but yeah now the damage looks like it's something the worst part is ebony is really very frustrating and he cancels my skills most of the time but still yeah her survivability is going to be the question of doubt benefactor right here but apart from that she can do some work let's do this sky kyle yeah let's summon you 
Oof, that skill. Damn. Yeah, you can say I can max the Sky Kirin move, but that will take me a lot of Awakening Crystals and all. Yeah, let's clear this stage, okay? I'll make a video on Sunbird next. So stay tuned for that guys and if you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I say that every video, not very often but yeah. So okay, let's kite a little. Um, okay, now what you're gonna do, you're gonna go back, okay, this direction, let's go. Now let's do some work, let's summon you again Sky Kyren. You're gonna do something Dragon. Megazord <laughs> lol uh, I read this comment on the forum someone called it a Megazord Power Rangers Megazord that was literally very funny <laughs> but yep let's go blue dragon the damage is still not that up to the max so I guess she's just a leader leadership type character not for the game at least uh, sad but if you want to play as warriors of the sky you need to have her in your team just because of sunbird if sunbird is a damage dealing character which he should be then you're gonna need her to give him that 65% all attack juicy buff um, apart from that I don't see the much incentive to upgrading her as far as the testing goes so I'll test her again once in a while but my first impression is meh she is average average i hate to say but she is average apart from that yeah so unfortunately for us hmm, i wonder what are the events that we are gonna get for the characters yeah you yeah yeah i wanted to show this thing yes thank god we died here so you see blue dragon died and revived with a 50% max HP. So that means if you have sunbird in your team, your character is actually going to revive any of the characters of from warriors of the sky in specific. So that is something I will not use shadow shell skill if you are wondering if I will because this is not her video. Her video will be coming out soon. So stay tuned for that. Now it's blue dragon time yeah so let's see if we can even clear this stage i don't think she will be able to clear this shit stage but let's see if something miraculous happen or if she dies which is going to be the case right here so hmm not the very best job at damage dealing so she is no good for the damage besides who was expecting her to be good of course me but that's a disappointment which is why she's the first video on my list in Warriors of the sky so that's something okay nah she is not that good uh, but yeah it was fun her survivability is uh, good she didn't die at least at least not twice but between that that's good so okay let's do something here sky kyrin the only good thing is actually the sky kyrin which is really cool animation but that is also a long shot you will need a lot of resources like 330 of those are you kidding me 330 of the awakening crystals which is not come guaranteed that you will get when you clear it so yep huh, so that was it for the blue dragon i don't think she is strong enough um, yeah so she just she is just for the leadership i guess and in case of emergency or low level world boss ultimate so I let me know what are your thoughts on blue dragon and uh, that was it for today's video on blue dragon and if you like the video do hit me do hit that subscribe button 
and if you are new to the channel please subscribe until next time see you guys peace out